Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Friday, September 21st, 2012. Our top story comes from the world of material science as it applies to computer technology. You've probably heard of the concept called Moore's Law, which essentially is a prediction on how computer hardware will develop. This has been a fairly accurate prediction, but there are some limitations that prevent hardware from keeping up with this pace. For example, scientists are quickly approaching functional transistors and circuits that are on the atomic scale, and once we do reach that point, there's not much else we can do with conventional electronics. However, as with many things in life, the solution could involve lasers. We're not talking about completely optical computing, where beams of light replace electrical current, but a hybrid system. Modern processors contain multiple cores, which are basically individual processors, and how these cores communicate with each other could be improved. So, Swiss researchers have investigated the element germanium for this application. Germanium is a semiconductor material that can be easily combined with silicon, important for integration with computer technology. Most importantly, under certain conditions, germanium becomes a laser material, able to emit a very specific wavelength of light. Unfortunately, the investigation showed that the amount of light wasn't enough to practically use in technology, but that the laser properties could be boosted by putting the material under physical strain. If this technology could become practical, which the scientists say is a possibility, it could greatly increase computing power. With conventional transistors reaching their limit, further development of optical and other technologies are necessary. We end with a quick update from the world of technology as it applies to medicine. Scientists from Purdue University have designed a medicine delivery patch with some amazing properties. When thinking of patches like this, you likely imagine nicotine patches that help people quit smoking. Those work because nicotine is a small hydrophobic molecule and can be easily absorbed through the skin. Delivering drugs in a time-release patch would be helpful for many treatments. One method is using an array of microneedles, only about 20 microns in diameter, they're virtually painless. The only problem being that microneedles require some kind of pumping mechanism to work, which are currently bulky due to the power supply. The solution is yeast. It could power a micropump for the same reason that microorganisms can produce beer. When given water, sugar, and heat, yeast starts using fermentation for energy and carbon dioxide is a byproduct. This CO2 gas generates a small amount of pressure that could actively pump a drug through microneedles for several hours. This approach is drastically simpler, no batteries or circuitry, just flexible polymers making a yeast-containing layer and a drug-containing layer. Just adding water and human body heat would activate the yeast's fermentation and, by extension, this pump. With such a simple yet effective design, the next step is mass production, and these patches will surely find many uses. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.